And let's take a look. And just watch how fast his reflexes are. Right there. Look, look at where the, man, the Negron's hand is. Way down. A champion like Julian Jackson will pick you apart. I mean, he's bad enough not to keep your, your gloves up, but to have him down by your waist is an indication of his inexperience. Now, if Julian Jackson can only get a better sense of direction after he knocks somebody down, he'll well, be right up there. I, if, if I was as confident as he is that he can knock a guy out, when he, I, I was with him at breakfast. He says it won't go one, and I said, I believe it, and here we are. I, as I repeat, outside of the top. Golden Gloves heavyweight champ. Cooper rated number nine by the WBA, number 10 by the BC, out of Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Oh, oh down goes Coffee again. And blood streaking Four, from his nose. Five, six. He might have broken his nose on that one, and he's over. He's not getting up. If they let that continue, something's wrong. Time out. I mean, look at him. He, he doesn't even know where he's at. Referee Jay Nady calling time. Now get the doctor. It is all over. It is all over here in the round two. Absolutely correct. Book uppercut. There's the body shot. There's the uppercut. Just like they teach it in the gym. It couldn't be better. Loud boos for Don King, who's entered the uh, round. <laughs> what has he done recently? He just comes over to congratulate um, Cooper and, and console Coffee. And from overhead, any angle you look at just oh. is painful to watch. <laughs> that, that angle might have even been better to watch the precision with which that punch. And the first says he's been eat, slipping, sleeping, and drinking his opponent. So he's focused on Burt Cooper. So here we go. Scheduled for 12. Do you think we'll go anywhere near that? Cooper hoping to prove that it was not a fluke against the Vander Holyfield. Hand. Cooper has more up against the ropes. The body shot, the right hand, more blocking one right. Then he takes it and he's hurt. And Michael Cooper Moore is out on his face. Michael Moore. That fight is over if Joe O'Neill doesn't give him a count right here. But Michael Moore looks like he's out cold on his feet. Now Joe O'Neill. Sends Cooper over to continue the count. That's right. By virtue of Cooper not going to the neutral corner, the count was stopped and gave Moore a few extra seconds. A long straight count. right hand. Michael Moore. Bert Cooper goes after him. Moore went down at the hands of Bigfoot Martin before he got up to win that fight. But in the surprise here, Cooper got him down in the first round. But he just hurt Cooper with a short little left hand himself. Crowd on its feet. What a first round. Now they're standing head to head. That's your head, sir. Moore digging in a body shot. Cooper responds with a couple of his own. It out, that's right. It started out with a couple of body shots. You're right about that because he did get up in time, but it looked like he wasn't. Right hand off the temple, two right two hands. Rights. That's the one that really stunned him. His legs are coming off the ground. His hands are dropped. His back is turned. I mean, those are all the telltale signs of a guy that's not going to keep on fighting. 
And now here comes Cooper going down. This is the reverse. Bingo, left hand down, right hook over the top. Two of them, as a matter of fact. Mouthpiece comes out. Cooper looks like he's dead. And, of course, gets back up and recoups and makes a great uh, assault at the end. Third round. As we start the third round, we'll be bringing in Riddick Bowe for his comments in just a moment. But this, is, uh, this has been something for the first two. 